进去的 library。我的老师就像一个袋鼠妈妈，她跟我们一起玩游戏，还有教我们很多本领。My favorite thing is the slide on the playground because it's very high. Our role is to prepare the children for primary, so they're ready to access the curriculum at primary level. Well, obviously the children are naturally quite curious about everything around them, um, small and big. So we generally start with the children. Ex exploring what is around them in their community, in their classroom, and then we move further afield until eventually we look into the universe and space as a whole. The children like to experience things, so going on learning journeys is a key part of our, our curriculum. And also exploring things in the classroom and doing experiments, really trying to work out how it's happening and why it's happening. And we try and lead them down their own journey into discovering all of that. One of the strengths of the school is the fact that we do language through immersion. So when the children are in class, they're either speaking English or they're speaking Chinese. The teachers are not in the classroom at the same time, so the children learn very quickly how to switch and they would never speak Chinese in front of an English teacher, for example. So they can't rely on their stronger language, which means that both languages are built up simultaneously. Another unit we're covering at the moment is building and structures, which is where we, um, we look around us and look at the building and structures that we have in Hong Kong. We also compare it to other buildings and structures we have around the world. And the children experiment building different structures with different materials, take into account that you know, some of the stru structures are tall, why are they tall, why do we, how can we make them stronger. Another unit we're doing is called Same Same But Different, which is uh, based on a book about two children who live diametrically across the, the world from one another and have very different lives but when they actually look at it and compare their lives to one another they're the same but also a little bit different so the children then extrapolate from that and work out that actually in the room that they're sat in there's children from different backgrounds have different situations at home so we're all the same but we're a little bit different we accept that that's acceptable and cultural differences are what makes our life and our world rich so the children use a variety of media to express themselves through art and it also uh, strengthens their fine motor skills and their gross motor skills. Singapore is known for its strength in maths and so we need to cultivate that uh, knowledge and foundation in maths in, an early, in the early years. Right from the get-go we're teaching English, uh, maths through English and we use a lot of manipulatives so that we work from the concrete to the abstract. Obviously being healthy and moving is very important at a young age, what's important all your life. So the children in PY, every day, they either using the playground or they're having PE. The playground has been designed so that it's not flat, so that there's different challenges for the children. And then also in PY2, they have a specific gymnastics course that strengthens their balance and coordination and stretching. So rhyme and movement is another part of our curriculum which concentrates on um, coordinating movement with music um, and we have that almost daily in English and Chinese. We have six school values which obviously as teachers we model every day and it's important that the children see us doing it every day and in, we instill the values throughout the curriculum in English and maths and outdoor play every time we see an opportunity to teach both in PY1 and PY2.